Renegade Golfers, Coach Stephen here from Renegade Golf Training. In today's video, we'll talk about power, and all golfers love to talk about power, and that's the reason why I've got plenty of power exercise videos on the blog. But today, we're going to talk about power from a slightly different angle, and that is how to find out and correct power leaks. And by power leaks, I mean those areas, muscles of the body that can rob you of being able to fully generate the power, the strength and the power that you so uh, deserved and earned with your um, fitness training. So in terms of the upper body, the major muscles that are culprits of energy leaks would be the pec, the chest, pec minor specifically, and the big lat muscles of the back. Now what can happen is that the pecs are, get very tight, lats are tight, and they pull the shoulders forward and internally rotated like this. And as you well know by now, flexion will kill rotation. Obviously, when you're flexed forward, you won't be able to rotate into your backswing nearly as much. But it gets even worse than that. What happens when you have lack of range of motion, say, in your left shoulder, chest, because of, and also because of the lat here, the body, it's very smart, it doesn't want you to injure yourself. So you go back into your backswing, you start accelerating, but your body knows that it needs to protect itself because it doesn't want your arm to rip off on the follow through. So what it will do is start decreasing, or I should say decelerating the club earlier and earlier, which of course means less swing speed, less power, less distance. So let's look at these two muscle groups and quick ways to lengthen them out and, and obtain optimal range of motion. So first, the pec muscle, the chest muscle. Now, you can do this at home in a doorway. You don't need to purchase one of these cable cross machines to do this. All right, a um, couple notes on this one. We prefer to have the same side leg forward as the, uh, as the, the, the chest that you're stretching. You have a 90 degree angle with the arm. You can also go up. My personal favor is a 45 degree angle here. That gets more pec minor. Up very tall, you're going to bend the knee, lean in, and just basically turn away from the side being stretched. And I, and I do this, I feel a nice stretch across pec, pec major, and even up in my armpit a little bit, which is indicated by pec minor being stretched. That's all a good thing. Um, static stretching, so you want to relax as much as you can into the stretch. Every time you exhale, think about that muscle group lengthening, releasing, and relaxing. A couple of quick notes about this stretch. You should not feel any discomfort in your shoulder. Pinching in the shoulder, a lot of stress in the posterior shoulder. It is not, it's never worth it to stress a joint in order to stretch a muscle. So if you're getting that kind of pain or discomfort, you can try different arm positions, and even some golfers need to go down to a lower position like this and turn it this way, which can also work, or even in a doorway, double like that, okay? Second note is that a lot of people doing this stretch start feeling it in their low back. Obviously not what we're going for. That happens because oftentimes they'll overarch their low back as they come forward, creating stress in this lumbar spine. It's an easy fix though. Squeeze your butt muscles, that'll flatten your back a little bit, and allow you to stabilize and not feel it there, but instead feel it in the pec where you want to feel it. Okay, second muscle, the lat muscles. Big back muscles here, uh, what people don't often realize is they attach almost to the front of the arm, and, and therefore they can pull the arm internally rotated like this, which of course, again, inhibits uh, your ability to both uh, backswing and follow through range of motion. This is one of the favorite stretches among my golfers. We call it the lean away lat stretch. I'm gonna to try to get it, hopefully the angle shows what I'm doing here. I'm gonna grab onto uh, any solid object. It can be like this in a doorway, obviously. First, we're gonna sit back into the stretch directly back. Now, I'm gonna, you're gonna feel it in the upper part of your lat up in here, which is good, but that's gonna be the easy part. What we'd like to do is get it a little further down the back. To do that, we first shift, shift the same over to the same side being stretched. So my, my whole body shifts to my right because I'm stretching the right side. And then I shift my hips back to the left. So basically I'm creating a C right here. And then I look and I reach under and I relax. Now, now I can feel the stretch all the way down here as opposed to just up here near the armpit. Relax into that. And again, we can hold that for 30 plus seconds feels really good. So these two stretches can 
open up the pecs and release the lats, allowing the arms to fall, to fall where they belong here. And again, allowing you to express the strength, speed, and power you develop in your workouts. So test these out, get better range of motion, and let's get after old man par.